Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Be sure to check in with your own intuition because spirit does want to bring through messages specific for you. So let's take a look at your first card. We have the card of perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Keep going Sagittarius, persevere with what you have in mind. If you have a goal, I feel there is success on the horizon for you. Persevere through the trials and tribulations that you find yourself in at the moment because there is a great blessing that's going to come in for you. I feel that you know this as well. You have been right all along. That's the message I'm receiving from Spirit. This week, there may be a major truth that's revealed. It feels like a truth bomb that's going to hit this week. And this is going to be very powerful for you to be able to unblock any blocks that have been in your way. They're going to be different for everybody, of course, what these blocks are. And maybe in your workplace, for example, or in your home life. But I feel a truth is going to be revealed um, uh, a truth bomb is going to go off and there's going to be um, there's going to be a movement forward because of this. Very powerful energy for you Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your next card. Guidance for Sagittarius. This card here is your card. Surrender denial. Very powerful. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. And this is so true. I feel this is linked in to this reveal to the truth coming out. I feel that this is tied into the energy of you knowing that you've been right all along. I feel that you have a deep knowing, a deep sense of something. You have not been blinded. Uh, you can see in this image that she has a, a blindfold on. You have not been blinded, but perhaps someone close to you has been. Perhaps someone who's trying to undermine your truth. But I do see that there's such a strong energy for you understanding a, a person or people or situation exactly as they are. So falseness falls away. And this will bring freedom, Spirit is telling me. This is going to bring freedom or has brought freedom if you have already been in this energy for a while. This card here jumped out. So I'm going to take this card for you, Sagittarius. Let's see what it says. The energy to teach. The vibration of you being a teacher or you helping others uh, through guidance, helping them along their life in, uh, along their journey in life. You have information, you have knowledge that needs to be put out into the public sphere that is of service to others. You're going to be of service to others. You may also be in this role currently in your job or your career perhaps. Maybe you're going to be studying or you're thinking about moving into a new area where teaching is going to be a part of what you do. Getting information out there is important and that's what I'm seeing with this card. Information from you coming your way, uh, coming uh, into others, um, into others world and that's going to be very powerful. This is part of your life purpose I feel for some. The energy of teaching may also resonate on the level of you being a student. Guidance for Sagittarius. This card here. Actually, two cards here for you. So let's take a look at those. Positive movement forward. Yes, this is always such a welcome card. Positive movement forward is what spirit wants you to know that you are moving along this journey. And you're going to overcome these blocks. You're going to overcome what mountains are in front of you. It's smooth sailing. I feel that this is linked in to the energy of freedom here that I'm seeing. The blindfold comes off. Seeing things as they are. You've known all along that something hasn't been right perhaps or 
something that has been very right for you and, and you've been following along down that path, you have positive movement forward. Very good card. There's also an energy here of communication coming up. So you may have important communication with someone this, this week. And this will bring, this communication will bring a positive movement forward for you in some way. Discontent and boredom. Now these two cards are connected, so there's going to be positive movement forward. And perhaps for some, this is coming up because you are feeling discontented, you're feeling that there there's um, a sense of boredom, you're feeling not in alignment with something that you're doing or in a partnership that you have. And so I'm seeing that you're going to turn around here and look to the look out to the view, look out to the view of what is possible in your life. And you're going to you're going to really look at that and you're going to see that there is a way forward here. Positive movement forward is what is happening. So feeling stuck or feeling that there's this energy of discontentment or boredom is somewhere that you're going to be in for a long time or for the foreseeable future. It's not entirely accurate because we do have a momentum that's building, a positive momentum that's going to that's going to push you, that's going to push you in the right direction, that's going to lead you in the right direction. Guidance for Sagittarius. Please, Spirit. Okay. The Queen of Cups. This The Queens are the mother archetypes. So you may be having dealings with your mother. You may also be a mother or there's a mother, mothering influence that you're having on others, which does tie into the energy of teaching. The Queen of Cups is a very reflective, intuitive queen. And so this week it's vitally important that you connect in with your intuition that you access your inner feelings that you understand what your feelings are and accept them don't brush them aside I see a reflective quality here as well you may be reminiscing on the past so that you can contemplate your future learning from the past so you can think about your future in a new way in the way that you want to live and how you want to be there is going to be a decision or a judgment made on you or you're going to be making this judgment can mean that there's a very big life decision that's being made currently and things are not going to be the same this is a big shift but it's a big shift forward in a positive way spirit really wants you to know that you have a calling i'm also seeing this trumpet here as news information and announcement uh, coming your way good news something that you hear is very important maybe you'll hear someone something from your past or about your past this week that's also possible but you have a calling for something uh, you've got a calling to do something go somewhere and only you know what this is you may have held this close to your heart for some time Sag and now is the time for you to acknowledge these feelings about it and to move forward this can mean that you're actually going to be relocating in some way uh, relocating can mean where you live. It may be that you're relocating a job, you're relocating offices, or it may mean that you're switching jobs, careers, uh, this sort of thing as well. So big life shifts. But Spirit is saying that remain positive because it is going to be such a good thing for you. We have temperance. Temperance is uh, your card, Sagittarius. So um, this means that you're in your power this week, which is always a good thing. You may also be dealing with or have in your life in a significant way another Sagittarius, perhaps. Temperance represents moderation in all things. Being moderate in your approach to things this week is important. There's also an energy of transition here that I'm seeing with temperance. 
you're in transition with something. You've, you've got one foot in, one foot out of a situation. But you are on the way. And Spirit wants you to know that you're not staying just here where you are, discontented in some way. Uh, you're not going to stay here. You're moving, you are moving forward in a positive way. It's just a transitional time right now. Things may not have completely finalized, for example, if you're looking for a finalization of something. So you still have one foot in, one foot out just at the moment. But you're raring to go, the Knight of Swords. You have a clear mind about your decision about what it is that you want. And this card is very supportive of you, of you achieving that. I do get a strong sense of clarity of mind. So I do like these two energies for you because they represent uh, that you have um, tapped into and co connected um, in a strong way with your emotions and also you have clear mental space. So you, these, your head and your heart are working together this week in a powerful way. I love it. And your final card is the Hierophant. Now, this is the Hierophant as well. The energy of teach and number five here is the Hierophant. So we have this message coming up again. You may be having interactions with some kind of authority, maybe in your workplace or it could be governmental or it may be in your local council or community. Uh, this could be you stepping up into a leadership position where you are guiding others. This is also a very spiritual card. So you may find that you are feeling immensely connected to spirit this week. Whatever your practices are, have an intention, a pure intention toward these practices because spirit is hearing you. God and source energy that is hearing you. And I do feel that there is, you're going through this transformation and I do feel that um, this help spiritually from the, the from the divine is part of this process, part of this transformation that's happening. So a beautiful reading for you, Saj, this week. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.